Hey guys, salut mes amis, ok, hello goodbye. Maxime here. A lot of questions from the community were unanswered when Trusted Mode came out. So Valve realized that, hey, we need to help explain a few things and be a little bit more transparent. They neatly answered many of the questions and I'll summarize what they said in this video while explaining what Trusted Mode is. Trusted Mode, if you are new or haven't been in the loop, blocks files from interacting with the game that are not from the game. This means that most known programs such as OBS will not work properly with Trusted Mode. It is on by default, but you can switch to Normal Mode by putting this into the launch options. To put it short, Normal Mode is meant to allow certain programs to run normally with the game if they are verified, but Trusted Mode does not allow any program to inject into the game. This means that if you are a developer, you need to go through a verification process before your program gets allowed into Normal Mode. If your program is not verified, then the game will be launched in so-called Insecure Mode, which does not allow you to play on VAC secured servers. Not only that, but in Normal Mode, your trust factor may get affected as well, which means playing on official Valve servers like matchmaking could result into a more watermelon experience. The idea behind not allowing any programs in trusted mode is because there is a risk that you integrate your cheat with for example OBS, which itself is just a harmless video recording and live streaming program. So Valve had to pull the plug and say, nope, we don't allow any programs to inject, period. This means that you need to run OBS in normal mode if you want it to function normally. Nvidia Shadowplay works just fine, probably because it doesn't inject into the game. And Vibrance GUI as well, which is really nice. Actually, not a single program for me has stopped working in trusted mode. And I have no performance issues either. I guess I'm just lucky. But if you are experiencing issues with trusted mode, this is what I would do. Go to where you installed Steam, user data, if you see more than one folder here, then check the video description for help, 730, local, CFG, and open trustedlaunch.cfg with a text editor. And here you may find clues to which programs are causing performance issues or other problems. Mine is clean with just success on the top, which is probably why I haven't experienced any issues. If you have any issues, take a look at this file and good luck fixing it. If you're curious, Valve has explained why some players may notice performance issues. Apparently it's because even though trusted mode prevents injections, there are still some programs that will constantly try to get in. And when they do that, you can guess how your computer feels. Sometimes programs will also try to inject during specific mouse events, which may have an effect on your mouse overall. Basically, all these issues are relevant to the programs that you have on your computer, which means if you rely on a program that causes performance issues, then rip, for now at least. Because the good news is that Valve are currently testing a mechanism which will remove all performance issues even with the programs causing it. Now because trusted mode comes off as a very defensive system with very strict rules, you may think that Valve implemented it to prevent cheats altogether from working. In Valve's own words, no. They didn't just say no. They are being totally honest here. Trusted mode was never meant to stop cheats altogether. Trusted mode is meant to detect cheats faster and help develop a more effective anti-cheat system for the future. Think about it. Trusted mode together with Trust Factor, together with VAC, and together with VACnet combined in order to make a much stronger anti-cheat system. Could be huge. But time will tell. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see more content, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay awesome and go bananas.